Donna the Killer Fish From Wild Diaries Water adventure movies wouldn't be complete without scenes of people being stripped to the bone in seconds by ravenous piranhas. And yet piranhas are also kept by some people as specimens in home aquariums. This contradiction may leave hobbyists wondering just how dangerous piranhas actually are. In truth, it is the piranhas that are routinely eaten by people, only a few people have ever been eaten by piranhas. And yet, attacks on humans have indeed occurred, mostly in the Amazon basin. There are several hundred documented cases of attack, with a few ending in death. But of more than 20 piranha species, it is only the red-bellied piranha that is the subject of most of the man-eater legends. All piranhas live in South America in rivers and lakes, and 20 different species are found in the Amazon River. Most piranhas don't get any bigger than 2 feet or 60 centimeters long. For example, the red-bellied piranha and the Pyrea piranha grow to about 20 inches or 51 centimeters long, while the black spot piranha grows to about 11 inches or 28 centimeters. Piranhas live in groups called a shoal. It is a popular belief that these fishes travel in groups so that they can overwhelm prey in a choreographed feeding frenzy. Scientists, however, think they travel together as a form of protection from predators. That's not to say that frenzies never occur. When threatened, the shoal will group together with other shoals to take down the predator. Most piranhas get a bad rap as terrifying predators that will tear to shreds any flesh that dares dip into its waters. This actually isn't true. Some piranhas are omnivorous and eat more seeds than meat. Some species are vegetarian. A species discovered in 2013, Tomides camunani, for example, lives on river weeds. Other species eat shrimp, crustaceans, worms, carrion and other fish. Attacks on humans are very rare. Female piranhas lay thousands of eggs at a time in the sand below the water source where they live. The red-bellied piranha female, for example, lays her eggs in a nest that is dug by her mate. After the male fertilizes the eggs, they attach to plants at the bottom of the water source and hatch within just a few days. Piranhas live up to eight years. According to one study, red-bellied piranha attacks tend to peak in the dry season when food is scarce and water levels are low which leads to heavier-than-usual concentrations of hungry fish. Still, even these dry-season attacks are normally limited to small but painful nips to the hands and feet, fatal attacks are quite rare. A piranha has powerful jaws with sharp teeth and is a formidable predator, but these fishes usually only feed on other fish or wounded animals. The fact is that hungry piranha will bite at almost anything, even other piranhas. Most piranha attacks occur when the fish are stressed, such as during breeding season when they are protecting their nests. At this time, they are aggressive and will bite anything they see as a threat. But studies show that even these bites are typically warning bites, not an attempt to kill the intruding animal. Attacks also coincide with the dry season, when food is scarce and large numbers of fish often get trapped in shallow pools as the water evaporates. 
They will then risk attacking something larger than themselves in order to survive. Since piranhas can survive for weeks without food, even this is a last resort. Piranhas are attracted to noises associated with fruit falling into the water and with struggling animals. So sometimes, they can mistake a swimming or splashing human with something that they associate with food. Those planning Amazonian adventures can take solace that the vast majority of attacks lead to very minor injuries. The red-bellied piranha is considered one of the more dangerous and aggressive species of piranha. Generally, when red-bellied piranhas are feeding normally, the fish will spread out, and a scout will signal when a food source is found. When alerted, piranhas are very orderly. Some of the fish will take a bite and then move aside so another fish can take a bite. Just one red-bellied piranha can eat around 2.46 grams per day, or around one-eighth its body mass. The red-bellied piranha is considered the most aggressive species. Red-bellied piranhas bark to warn predators to leave them alone. Piranha attacks are swift and comprehensive as they start eating their victim alive, piranhas will even injure one another in the frenzy of an attack. The piranha's top and bottom teeth work together like scissors to cut up food. They lose and regrow teeth, much like sharks. Piranhas have very strong jaws for clamping down on prey. The black piranha has the strongest bite force recorded for bony fish. On September 19, 1981 more than 300 people were reportedly killed and eaten by ravenous piranhas when an overloaded passenger boat capsized and sank as it was docking at the Brazilian port of Obidos. However, it is said that piranhas will not attack a human or other animal that is not already in trouble, they are attracted to the frantic splashing and blood of animals in distress. Even though piranhas pose little danger to humans, they do present a danger to native fish species. For that reason, many states and countries restrict importing, breeding, or even keeping them in aquariums. Unfortunately, people have dumped fish they no longer want into rivers or lakes, but a piranha tossed into a river or lake can easily disrupt fish species that live there, thus damaging the ecology. Even though they legal in some places, piranhas are not ideal aquarium fish. If you are serious about choosing to keep piranhas, they need a quiet habitat with places to hide, and should not be kept with other fish, even of their own species. Piranhas are carnivores that prefer fresh food. And remember, because of the danger they present to local habitats, check your local laws before bringing one home. Thanks for watching friends, and see you in the next video.